I feel it is almost impossible to not have enjoyed at least one of the Tony Hawk games released in the past. One of the funniest and most amusing games in the series had to have been Underground 2. With having to really try hard to step up from the greatness the first Underground put up to plate, Thug 2 comes back with jackass Viva La Bam style humor and new levels and challenges to keep the series alive. With this being Neversoft's sixth installment to the Hawk series, I was nothing short of entertained when it came to this. I even felt the graphics at this time were nice for bringing the cities to life. The first thing I generally do in these games is create my own skater. Create a skater in this game was probably the best than any previous Tony Hawk. They have so much for you to choose from and the graphics really allow you to get a feel for what you want your character to look like. You can also customize the stance of yourself from whether you skate switch or skate normal and they have other options you can set there too. The story mode for this game was hilarious. I mean hell. You start out with your player being kidnapped along with other famous skateboarders such as Chad Muska. After being kidnapped, you're brought in front of Tony Hawk himself along with Bam and they tell you that they're going to have a world destruction tour. After picking teams and Bam not picking you, you and Team Hawk are sent to the first level in Boston. Here you get points by doing challenges like finding Ben Franklin or just jumping over cars. One thing I really did not enjoy about this game was the recovering time it took up to get after falling. After not playing this game in a while, it seemed to happen a lot. Also, the graphics for this game were a little better than previous Hawk games, but they still could use a little work. Graphics aside, the physics in this were pretty spectacular for a Tony Hawk game. They brought this feature in called Focus Mode, and if your special bar was full and you used this, you would be in slow motion, and it allowed landing tricks to be a lot easier. Another neat feature was that you could freak out in this game and not have to be on your skateboard all the time. Freakouts seem to happen a lot in real life while playing this, especially when you'd fall off your board. As you get through various levels, you notice that the tasks really start to pile up. You really don't have to complete them all, but they encourage you to gain as many points as possible, because face it, it's a competition and you want to freaking win. Later on, you travel to places such as Australia and New Orleans, or as they call it, Nolens. I feel New Orleans was the most exciting level in the history of Tony Hawk games. With its festive landscape and design true to the city itself, Nolens brought Tony Hawk levels to, well, a new level. Oh, and did I mention there were zombies? I feel that a lot of you other Tony Hawk fans out there can agree with me on this one. Now, in classic mode, you could play through timed levels like in old school Tony Hawk games. When you visited these levels, it was just pure gold. They even brought back Philadelphia. Hell yeah! Now comparable with other Tony Hawk games, this soundtrack was... Mm, okay. There are various hits in it, such as Jimmy Eat World's Pain and Metallica's Whiplash that kept the game going fun. But I'd say it wasn't nearly as close to the greatness of Tony Hawk 3 and 4 soundtracks. Luckily, you can always customize what you want to play and what you don't want to play. Because there's always a song or two that you probably don't want to listen to, no matter what game it is. All in all, this game brought the whole BAM trend skyrocketing and provided hours of fun. If you were lucky, there was even an unlockable character you could skate as, just like in the other games. Tony Hawk Underground 2 was probably my favorite out of the Underground series, and is a good time for anyone interested in skateboarding and specifically skateboarding with wild twists and turns at every corner. Do I want the noob? Or do I want Paulie Wheels of Fury Ryan, yeah. the 10-year-old skating yeah. madman? <laughs>